Hello everyone, this is Donna. I'm back playing with paint. Still trying to figure this out. And I had some paints left over, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna try another one. So I'm still trying to do the Dutch pour, and I have already flooded my canvas with black, with Mars Black um, by Liquitex. And I did add a little bit of the um, iridescent medium into it. Uh, so it does have that. That's the Artist Loft iridescent medium. Um, okay, my paints are Arteza, the iridescent electric plum purple, and Arteza uh, mica powder, spring green, and Arteza micro powder, aqua blue, and to the aqua blue, I added in a little bit of the uh, phylloxidine green. Um, I wanted to darken it up just a little bit. Uh, then the other one is the Arteza royal purple, um, and to that, I added in a little bit of the Master's Touch Violet just to darken it up. Uh, then the Fairy Tale Blue by Arteza and the Sapphire uh, Deco Art. And I added a little bit of the Iridescent Medium to that. And then I have the Silver that is the Deco Art uh, Silver. Those are my colors, so now, which one do I want to put down first? And I think I'm going to put down this beautiful blue. And I'm just gonna do a swirl across. And then I'm going to put down the I never can remember these. The royal purple. And the royal purple. And then I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put some silver down. In there and oops I got a lot of that one and some of the green and Some of, oops, I already put that in. Um, a little bit of this. And some more silver. And just a little bit of pink. off and get my blow dry okay so I think I'm going to blow that away and this away okay to do any air bubbles and you didn't really see very many but okay now
And I think I'm going to put a little bit more paint on here. And I may use my little blower. We'll see. Um, it's nice to have options. It's not truly playing if you can't actually play with what you're doing. And it's, as uh, Jelly Cube says, it's your art room, your art, your decisions, no rules, just have fun. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and some more of the silver. And okay. And we'll blow that out. this part down here better and I'm gonna give it a torch oh that is so shimmery so so shimmery I was gonna see what will come up with in all that area of green there because I don't really like that so Hmm. Let's see. I need to touch up just a bit here. What do you think? I'm not sure. I've got to look at it. It's really shimmery. I'm loving the paints. I'm loving the colors. I'm loving the lacing and everything up in here and in here. I'm not sure that I really like it through this part of it. So, hmm, I don't want to really tilt. I just got to look at it for a minute. I wish you could talk to me. You would probably be saying, leave it alone, leave it alone. I'm going to get my straw here. Do just a bit more. Okay, I like that much better. I like it. I really, really like it. I like that lacing there. So I'm gonna blow out just a little bit along this edge. Yeah, that kind of goes and now I'm going to torch. See one more area I'm going to blow. And I'll go 
call this one done. What do you think? It didn't turn out at all like what I thought it would, but I like it. Um, and that's what counts, right? I need some black up over here on this corner. Okay, well, I can continue playing with this. I, I like it. It's very shimmery. I am sure you can't see that shimmer in that. Hang on just a second. Close your eyes. I'm going to get you down here and see if I can't show you how absolutely gorgeous this is. Can you see the shimmer in those paints? That is just, when it dries, it's really going to be pretty. I can't wait to see the dried results. So much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching. Bye.